Ever since we made it easy to make your own balloon maps during the Gulf oil spill, we in the public lab community have been working on new ways to detect, quantify, and investigate environmental contamination. We want to be able to prove whether a given patch of brown goo is in fact crude, motor oil, or just mud. One common technique to identify an unknown substance is spectrometry, which measures the colors absorbed by a material. Light passes through a sample, and some colors are absorbed. A prism splits the colors so that each can be measured separately. If you graph the brightness of each color, like the EQ on a stereo, the resulting spectrum is like a fingerprint for that material. Unfortunately, spectrometers cost thousands, sometimes tens of thousands of dollars. So, we designed and built our own. We've taken the same open source collaborative approach as we did in balloon mapping, and over the past year we've solved three key problems. We've developed a reliable, cheap design with excellent precision. We've created open source software for calibrating instruments and collecting standardized data. We've made a shared online database and toolkit for analyzing, comparing, and exchanging data sets. Now we need your help. To build an open source library of spectra, Wikipedia style, we need your participation in collecting and analyzing new data. This will make new things possible, like spectra matching. Imagine a kind of Shazam for materials. To get started, we're offering an easy-to-assemble kit which plugs into your computer with a USB cable. For the adventuresome, we're also offering an experimental mobile spectrometer attachment for smartphones. For those of you who just want to taste, a fold-up paper spectrometer will be our most basic reward. Finally, for those of you who want to do a lot of testing at a coffee shop or a wine bar, we're offering a special countertop model which comes with Pyrex sample dishes, a stand, and an adjustable halogen lamp. Look at some of the things you'll be able to do. Two olive oils, visibly indistinguishable, but their spectra help tell them apart like a fingerprint. Public Lab contributor Josh MC used his spectrometer to test the free and clear detergent he's using for his newborn's diapers. Turns out it has a bluing agent to make the whites look whiter. How can you get involved? We're looking for people to help test and refine these open source techniques and tools, so get a kit or build one yourself and start collecting samples.